The Medium Season 1 Episode 4, here we go. Really? Mm-hmm. I know she spends a lot of time alone playing by herself. Is she like that at home? Okay. All right, so um, I haven't done one of these for the medium for so long, I forgot their names. Alison Dubois. Yes, okay. So she was brought in by um, her youngest daughter's uh, teacher. And they are concerned because she plays by herself or possibly with an imaginary friend. Uh, Alison Dubois is a medium. And is there a possibility that the daughter might be as well? Hmm. Doesn't seem to have many friends. To be perfectly honest, she doesn't seem to have any friends. The other kids, they avoid her. <laughs> okay. All right. So if you're the outcast, it doesn't matter if you're in kindergarten or uh, in college. If you're the outcast, nobody wants to hang out with you. Uh-oh. <laughs> you can't get me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, were you like this? Okay. I don't recall. But I think I've seen a few kids like this. Sure. Oh, this is Bridget. Bobby. He's my friend. Oh. She wants to... All right. <laughs> So, uh, they asked uh, the youngest daughter uh, what is his last name, and they decided to look them up in the phone book, phone books, and they dialed the, na they dialed the number, and uh, this is what happened. I'm sorry. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. So, bad news. What's going on? He's dead. Oh my god, what happened? Five years ago. Alright. Imagine that someone calls up. A little girl says, Hi, may I speak to your son? <laughs> so obviously they think it's a prank, but... Uh, I don't know if that little girl was even born. No. So. Yes. Her youngest child can see spirits, but um, all young children, usually before the age of seven, they are mostly um, what was it now? Right-brained? <laughs> I've forgotten already. Okay, so they're on the creative side. They have access to their abilities. Once they start going to logic. Um, that's when they forget uh, uh, or they lose their abilities because they start learning logic, yes. Uh. Do you think she knows? I doubt it. She probably just thinks he's another kid on the playground. Yeah, okay. So let's, let's think about that. Okay. Uh, everyone assumes that when you see spirit, it's a full body apparition and looks just like a human. No. They look different, and they look different to different people. Uh, and deep, everyone has their own perspective, and they will look different to different people. Yeah, so. Now, some spirits can show up looking like a human being. But well, some will be uh, faded. Some might be white. Some might be dark. Look like smoke, a haze. It just depends, yeah. We have to do something about this. I know. All right, okay, fine. So we're on the same page then. Okay, so your options if you have a child like that, you can <clears throat> let it go and hopefully she'll forget because she's in school. Sh logic might make her forget. Or uh, I know uh, my mentor, she is from originally from Taiwan. 
uh, she said once a child gets to a certain age and they see that they have certain abilities they take them to this special place they have this special ceremony done and they remove their abilities yes so I had no idea that that was going on but that's what I was told yes so there are other ways to remove your abilities uh, if I wanted to remove my own no I don't think I could do that I haven't tried it but no but um, certain people with access to different uh, higher dimensional guides uh, they are fully capable of uh, removing or stripping you of your ability yes so any thoughts as to why a six-year-old boy who's been dead for five years should choose to hang around our daughter? He's drawn to her because she can see him. That's all. Okay. Yes. All right. So, um, if you're clear sensitive, okay. So, human eyesight. You look you look like a regular human being. Okay. Nothing special. Spirits see energy, and when they look at certain people. Special clairsensitive people will shine a special light and that is why they are drawn to you Okay, so Maybe they're looking for someone to talk to someone they can uh, relate to or Nobody can hear me, but only you <laughs> Sometimes you have a special glow and they want your energy. Yes, so Several reasons yeah Oh, I don't know. I'm just proud of her. Please! I wouldn't wish the way I see the world on anybody, least of all, my own daughter. So what's next? Alright. Okay, so... Uh... Would I want my children to have uh, their abilities? That is something I would have to really think about. Um, okay, there are clear sensitive people out there that are... <laughs> How shall I say? They're not bothered by the spirit world. They get some contact, but nothing huge. And there's people like myself who has seen the horrors that the spirit world does has. I don't care what any other spiritualists say. They, they make it seem like it's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, There are things out there that are not nice. And I got to see the best and the worst that it has to offer. Would you let your five, six-year-old see the things that you have seen? What would that do that to them? What, what would that do to them? How would that shape their personality? So, uh, me, myself being the parent, I would have to really think about it. And I would have to confide with my guys to see if it is the proper course, the proper action to strip them of that uh, of their abilities yeah so um, uh, that is something that I at myself at the moment uh, is dealing with you two have polluted the gene pool didn't mean it like that how else could you mean it how do you know she's not going to outgrow it Sorry for polluting the gene pool. All right, so uh, what do I have to say with that? Uh, okay, well, since I'm doing this, might as well get personal. All right, so myself, I am special. Uh, my other half is also special. Yeah, so it is already seen that our children will also be special. And exactly my same light. So, there's a good chance my offsprings will have my abilities. Or abilities in general. So, uh, we'll see how they grow up. And if I notice or see horrors around them. Something trying to take advantage of them. Then obviously, as a parent, I'm going to have to stop that. And just because you see one ghost doesn't mean you see every ghost. If you say so. Just because you have one dream that seems to come true doesn't mean every dream comes true. Yeah, so <laughs> that is true. Some dreams do have meaning. Some are random. And 
<laughs> you the special person. Uh, it, it, when you had it for a few years, you kind of like brush it off. Or uh, some is random. Uh, some has meaning. But uh, I know my students that are fresh, brand new. They're training, and they take every dream literal. Then I have to tell them, just relax. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> <sighs> you like somebody else at school? No, mommy. The other kids are mean. All the other kids are mean. Alright, so uh, this little girl is seeing the fully manifested form. Um, and she cannot tell the difference. Okay. <sighs> what can I add to that? You know, I, I can't relate being her age and seeing or remembering my uh, imaginary friends. Yeah, so. How do you explain these abilities to a five or six year old? Yeah. Your best friend, then I should go have a chat with him. Bridget! Bridget! Move it! So, <laughs> she's just gonna confront it heads on. Sure. I don't see him. Do you? Of course not, Mommy. It's night. He's probably at home, in bed asleep. <laughs> She's talking, well, obviously naive. She doesn't understand yet. Ooh. He's afraid to. He's afraid if he allows himself to sleep, he'll wake up somewhere far, far away, and he'll never see you again, and he'll never see his parents again. Okay. Uh, as far as I understand, uh, sp spirits don't have to sleep. We human beings need to sleep because our body needs to uh, repair itself, relax, turn off for a little while, right? Uh, we could actually die over several days of not sleeping. Yes, so... Spirits don't sleep as far as I'm concerned. They're timeless. They don't understand. They pop in and out of existence. Yes. But that's the thing, see. When you go to this place... You can actually see everybody anytime you want and you're never lonely. Yes, okay. We are in the third dimension, Earth. Fourth dimension is where confused ghosts go to and that is where Bobby is. He doesn't understand. Okay. You, the person who are who is responsible for crossing over spirits, need to talk to that spirit and make it understand and you cross him over to the fifth yes it's a good place and it's his time and we have to help him get there Ta -da! there he is okay now it, uh, I happen to know firsthand uh, if she is um, gifted enough she could call any any spirit and it'll come forward yes so Hey Bridget, who's that? Hey Bobby, this is my mom. Hi Bobby. I know. <laughs> you can see me too? <laughs> okay. Let's see. He's spirit. He should be able to see both of their spiritual light. And it is special. If you were not clairsensitive, you would not have that special glow. I know she misses you. She cries for you. She prays for you. But you can't hear any of that here, can you? Hmm. Let's see. Why hasn't he moved? I don't know. Maybe that was his happy spot. You need to be in a place where you can hear everything. See everyone. There is a place like that, you know. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Crossing over little children is difficult because they don't understand. <laughs> huh? What? Okay, so, uh, if I remember correctly, three, four years ago, uh, there was this one spirit that kept on showing up. I was talking to it, and it, for some reason, it didn't leave. Okay, like, what the hell? I'm doing everything. I'm doing everything, and it, this is supposed to work. What happened? Now, one of my... Uh, Two different guides came in and two different voices said, help. Okay, I'm trying. Then others said, child. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, you have to slow down your speech. Hi. 
everything's going to be okay. You gotta talk to him like a little child. And, and, and most important, if you understand, you can call forth any other spirit. You will call forth this little child spirit's uh, deceased relatives. Yes, to call them forward. Uh, grandparent, uncle, aunt, anybody that is related to this in the, uh, this boy's, this child spirit. Um, anyone that's related to this boy, please step forward. And they would actually help this, um, this child spirit cross over. Yes. And there are a lot of people waiting for you to show up there. Your grandpa and grandma. Lots of other relatives you never even met. Yeah, so in the fifth dimension, it is a place of unconditional love. Okay, so it is the opposite of the earth, <laughs> where everything is conditional. Yes, okay. Uh, unconditional love, you let go of everything that has happened uh, in the third dimension, earth. Forgive all your enemies and all the transgressions that were pressed against you. You have to ask for forgiveness for all the transgressions you have pressed onto others. And after that, and after you understand that, you can cross over. And if need be, the medium that is crossing you over can ask um, deceased relatives from the fifth dimension to come forward and collect you. To remind you and coax you, hey, we're here. <laughs> you don't have to be alone anymore. Come on. Yeah. It's a wonderful place. And to get there, all you have to do is to relax and let go. All right. So if you're talking to a child spirit, perhaps, okay, that would work, maybe. Yeah. But uh, for me, asking the, the relatives, the deceased relatives to step forward really helps. Close your eyes. Aren't you tired? Come here. Right there. <laughs> oh, buddy. You're electrocuting me. Okay. Yeah. But, Mommy, I don't want Bobby to go away. Where he's going, he will always be with you. In your memories and in your heart, he will be watching you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> when uh, our relatives, friends cross over, okay, they're in the fifth dimension. They do okay. I wouldn't say they're limitless, uh, but I would say any um, limits they had as a fourth dimensional spirit, a confused ghost, is gone. They can do a lot of things. Uh, they can stay a fifth dimensional, a, a healed soul, and just watch you grow up, wait for you until you finally cross over yourself. Spirit can actually decide to reincarnate, yes. And if you miss him, all you have to do is think of him. Okay? Okay. Since she's a medium, could possibly be a very powerful one. We don't use tarot cards. We don't use Ouija boards. You know, any, we don't use any external thing. We just use our thoughts, our voice, our intentions. Yes. And poof, they appear. So... All right, so that is the end of this episode. Okay, there is a lot more uh, v video that I cut out, but I wanted to keep it short, direct to the point. Okay, all right, guys. Sorry for missing the names. You know, it's been a while since I did a, a medium episode. All right, guys, take care. See you in the next one.